The 2009 Nissan Pathfinder sees minor changes for the new model year. Most notably, the addition of standard side and curtain airbags on all models and a new auto door lock function. My tester here is the mid-trim SE 4x4 with the optional Journey and Premium packages. MSRP is $36,340. My last test drive of a Pathfinder was of the new V8 model about a year ago, but this time I've got the tried and true 4-liter V6, the truck version of Nissan's heralded 3.5-liter engine, making 265 horsepower, made it to a 5-speed auto. The Pathfinder has a rich heritage of being a serious off-road machine, one of the original SUVs, if you will. Over the years, it's become more refined, larger, and luxurious, yet still maintains its Jeep-worthy trail readiness. All Pathfinders come standard with a third row of seats now, though it's really in the dark ages of the third row revolution. What the Pathfinder does well is blend its body-on-frame truck ruggedness with its highway cruising duties. It drives more like a luxury SUV, one with a switch-operated four-wheel drive system and 6,000 pounds of towing capacity. The fully independent suspension helps create that more car-like driving experience. This engine prefers mid-grade gas and gets only 16 miles per gallon in mixed driving, so beware of that. It's a powerful and reasonably refined unit, too, that will never leave you desiring more passing power, though that V8 model is a monster. Interior design is nicely done with ample people and cargo space for long vacations, though I don't like these display screens unless you're giving me a Navi, in this case there isn't one in here. There are features like a rear view monitor and Bluetooth and Nissan's intelligent key system for keyless operation which keep it feeling like an upper end choice. But $36,000 seems high when compared with the more modern competition. It's got the look and the pedigree, but if you're not going to use the Pathfinder's wide range of mudding characteristics, there are better choices in the seven-passenger segment for less. Still in all, I like driving this Nissan and find it to be a reassuring, comfortable multitasker for those who will use it properly. For Drive Time on Yahoo Autos, I'm Steve Hammes.